Hi, my name is Roger and welcome to the channel. Five software companies have joined forces together and to celebrate that they are giving away free plugins. Great free plugins. And I will show you how to use them and show them in action today. So Isotope, Native Instruments, Plugin Alliance, Brainworks and Soundstacks have joined forces together and now they call themselves Soundwide. It's not a new company. They will all be their individual companies still. But they have joined forces in some other way. I don't know how, I don't know why, the future will tell. But to celebrate that, they are giving away some free plugins, some great free plugins. Some of these I use daily and think are awesome. If you like these kind of videos and want me to keep you up to date with what's happening in the sound world and plugin world, please give the video a like and also consider subscribing. Thank you. What do you get with this offer? Well, from Native Instruments, you get this sampler instrument, eth Ethereal, Ethereal. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Ethereal Earth. It's a very atmospheric sampler synth thing that works within Contact. Both full version of Contact and the free Contact player. So you can use it even if, even if you don't own Contact since before. From Plugin Alliance, you also get a synthesizer. This is BX Oberhausen. Oberhausen. I have to pronounce that in German. Oberhausen. Oberhausen. <laughs> It sounds nasty and the sound from this synthesizer is a little bit nasty. It's not angry, but it's a bit nasty. It's very fun to play with because it's so simple. You can be creative with it. From Plugin Alliance, you also get five other plugins. This is the BX Master Desk. It's an all-in-one mastering plugin with compressor, limiter, de a stereo enhancer which works on MS equalizer and so on. All you need on your mix bus or for mastering or anything really. You also get this black box analog design HG2 and I'm very curious about this. I haven't used this so much but this was a hardware unit first used in many professional studios. It's a distortion and just to warm things up, warm is such a boring word but you know what I mean. It's three kind of distortion in it. Saturation, pentode and triode and it sounds really really good. I want to explore this more and see what it can do. The same with this. I haven't used this so much. This is the BX Console Focusrite SC. It's a channel strip from the Focusrite console with a compressor, gate, equalizer, high pass and low pass filter. You can even emulate different analog channels from the console. I haven't used it so much. I can't tell you if it's good or not. The little I've used it, it's a bit mid focused, but maybe in a good way if I use it on the right places. Then we have two of my favorite plugins which I use daily. First there's, there's this Ampeg SVT VR bass amplifier plugin. It sounds awesome, it sounds great. Not only on bass guitar but mostly on bass guitar of course, hence the name bass amplifier bass you know and you can choose different speaker cabinets with different miking and uh, tweak a few things to your liking and how this plugin is free beats me this is a riddle because this is one of my favorite plugins of all time is the shadow hills mastering compressor it sounds awesome it's really hard to use and it's a steep learning curve on it and the interface is totally messy probably the layout makes more sense on the hardware unit but as a plugin it's totally messy if you don't know how to use it dan warrell just released a video where he explains this plugin more thoroughly i will link that in the description so you can check it out and from isotope you get neutron elements it's a slim version of their neutron plugin with an equalizer that sounds really good Good. Transient shaper, exciter and compressor. It's a bit clinical, but it's a clinical in a good way. Surgical, you might say. I made a quick mix on the Roger That Song of 2021 and I've used only these plugins except for a couple of reverbs because there are no reverbs in this bundle. What I did was that all, on all the drums I used the Focusrite console. On the snare drum I also have the Neutron because I wanted a little bit more bite on it. And then on the bass, of course, there's the Ampeg. 
but there's also the black box distortion unit and the Shadow Hills mastering compressor. Yes, you can use a mastering compressor even on a track. It doesn't have to be in mastering. It, and despite the label on the plugin. On the Rhodes, I actually used the Ampeg as well, but I changed the speaker so it, it's not as bassy and worked really well on the Rhodes. I have the Orberheim and the Contact plugin. The Orberheim with some distortion on it and the Contact plugin only with a high pass filter from the Neutron. On the lead, I use the Focusrite console, the black box distortion unit, because why not? And also the Neutron for some compression. And on the mix bus, of course, there's the Shadow Hills mastering compressor and the BX master deck. So I will play you first without the plugins a couple of bars and then I will put them on and you can hear the difference yourself. I actually got some critique when I reviewed some free plugins from labs because I wasn't picky enough. Someone said that all those plugins are not good. No, I don't think so either, but I won't be picky if they give me free stuff. If I'm reviewing things that cost a lot of money, then I'm gonna be picky and see if it's worth the money or not. If you wanna support that independence, please visit my Patreon. It costs you a coffee a month to join my Patreon and I will release more in-depth videos on my Patreon as well. Link is down there, of course. Now you gotta hurry because this offer ends April 26th and that's only six days from this video is released. So go and get some free great plugins and make some music. You won't regret it, I promise. Regret in Swedish is ångra, ångra. Until next time, Roger that. Oh.